I'm not concerned about anything. If I was concerned, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I work out every day. I don't go all out right there. This is escalating as time goes on. By the time July um, 20th comes, um, I'll be... Mike Tyson has just spoken out after his medical emergency. Just before the Jake Paul fight, Tyson experienced a medical issue on Sunday while flying from Miami to Los Angeles. The 57-year-old heavyweight champion started feeling queasy and lightheaded, prompting flight attendants to inquire about the presence of a doctor on board in order to offer for support paramedics embarked on the plane in Los Angeles after it had been delayed by two hours in Miami due to the scorching heat to administer treatment. Just two months remain until the legendary boxer squares up with YouTuber-turned-boxer Jake Paul in Arlington. Thankfully Mr. Tyson is doing great his representatives told the New York Post he became nauseous and dizzy due to an ulcer flare-up 30 minutes before landing there. Representative added, he is appreciative to the medical staff that were there to help him an ulcer flare-up typically presents with nausea, vomiting, bloating, belching, gas pain, lethargy, and chest pain. Tyson, who openly acknowledged his daily marijuana use in the past, has abstained from it during his training for the Paul fight, as it falls under the list of prohibited substances outlined by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. He also disclosed that as part of his training regimen, he had temporarily given up sleeping with his partner. His publicist, Joan Manano, recently told us at Today Sports he only stopped as a means of following all of the rules, but he is still a strong advocate for the medicinal benefits of cannabis for his personal well-being and others like him. Tyson's fight with Jake Paul has drawn criticism recently, largely due to the significant age difference between the two fighters. I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this, Tyson said at a press conference earlier this month, when a reporter suggested there were critics. Tyson said, who named me somebody you who the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation has approved the fight to be conducted as a professional bout with a duration set at eight rounds each last in two minutes, instead of the usual 10 or 12 rounds lasting. Three minutes each punch power is expected to be lessened because the gloves weigh 14 ounces as opposed to 10. Tyson stepped away from professional boxing in 2005 yet made a comeback with an exhibition match in November 2020 against Roy Jones Jr. in California. However, it wasn't officially recognized as a professional bout. The questions and the scene generally infuriated Tyson, especially when he was asked what it meant to have an opportunity to fill at NT Stadium. He said, I was doing this years ago, so this is nothing new to me. This is new to this young boy over here. However, the latest development has sent shock waves through the fighting community, adding to existing dissatisfaction over the age gap. Cha Sonnen, a renowned figure in UFC history, has injected skepticism into the anticipated clash. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Sonnen highlighted Tyson's precarious position, suggesting that if he were to withdraw, it would hardly raise any eyebrows. Sonnen said this fight is still over a month away. One has has nothing to do with the other. Okay, fair enough. If you're Mike Tyson, put yourself in his shoes, telling the story of how I can beat this young kid in his 20s. While I couldn't even get up and leave an airplane. I had somebody come onto the airplane. Whatever the reason, I could not stand up and get off of an airplane. Sonnen further remarked that in terms of public relations, Mike Tyson is in an excellent position. He noted that Tyson has a built-in excuse that every fighter looks for and in the realm of PR Tyson currently has the world at his feet. He reiterated that Tyson could not be in better spot. He added, you couldn't be in a better spot. You could not possibly have a better spot for one. The built an excuse which every fighter looks for, although the bout is probably in its doldrums at the moment, Jake Paul thinks that Tyson would never turn down a fight, despite his physical issues. The revelation sent shockwaves not just through the combat sports realm, but resonated globally among those tuned into the anticipated match. Even the divisive figure in the sport, Ryan Garcia expressed interest in filling the void should the bout falter. However, the problem child remains steadfast, confident that the showdown will proceed as planned, addressing the uproar. He asserted, Nothing has changed. The YouTuber Turner Boxer claimed that the fight will happen, as the representative of Mike Tyson has not said anything, said Jake Paul. Don't listen to every Twitter news article. Me and Mike are fighting on July 20th. Everyone is trying to do everything they can to hurt this fight and attack me. You should know about that. However, the human mind is a playground for inventive ideas among the myriad speculations that emerged when caught the attention of fans and followers alike with uncertainty looming over Tyson's participation. A proposal was floated yet, judging by the overwhelming sentiment expressed in the comments, it seems most fans are not inclined towards entertaining such alternatives, crossover boxing handle said. If Mike Tyson is forced to pull out of his fight versus Jake Paul, could we see a montage unfurled on the screen capturing a flurry of tweets echoing concerns about Mike Tyson's recent health scare? As the Tyson-Paul fight poster flickered into view, the ambient strains of the motivation anthem, not over yet set the tone yet amidst the sequence, the vis of KSI began to seamlessly weave in gradually supplanting Tyson's presence culminating in a striking finale. A simple yet profound message materialized it only makes sense what's the deal with KSI why? Not Tommy Fury sure Tyson Fury's sibling has already squared off against Jake Paul. 
but the feud between the problem child and the British YouTube sensation remains unresolved. That's why a showdown between them promises a thrilling spectacle. If Mike Tyson and Dee can't step into the ring, could KSI and Paul still salvage their match? The odds seem stacked against it. Firstly, there's the weight gap to consider the problem. Child and Tyson are slated for a heavyweight showdown. Tyson has disclosed he's tipping the scales at approximately 230 pounds, while KSI in his last bout against Tommy Fury weighed in around 181 pounds beyond that the crux lies in the inadequate time for preparation the fight. Notice would simply be too brief for KSI to adequately gear up the general sentiment hinted at dissent towards the proposal the rationals echoed familiar arguments yet. Amidst the skepticism a handful of eager individuals found the prospect rather exhilarating Dylan Donnie's recently took to social media to unveil a snapshot featuring Mike Tyson, seated in a wheelchair subtly hinting at the passage of time. While the image may be dated it serves as a poignant reminder that Tyson's health is on a downward trajectory. The iconic boxing legend has been grappling with various health issues, undergoing treatments to address them. However, Mike Tyson has now broken his silence after his recent health issue. Tyson tweeted now feeling 100% even though I don't need to be to beat Jake Paul. This tweet not only highlights his improved health, but also his confidence in an upcoming bout with social media sensation and professional boxer Jake Paul. Tyson's message comes after a period of concern over his well-being, during which old old photos of him and wheelchair resurfaced online, causing a stir among his supporters and the media. The images led to speculations and worries about his ability to compete, especially given his age and the peach choice Eichel toll that years in the ring have taken on him. However, it appears that Joe Rogan is concerned about Mike Tyson, because he thinks the great boxer could suffer significant harm from Jake Paul. In, in a different way, right? Let's not imagine that Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul. Let's imagine Mike Tyson is fighting some young, like really powerful knockout oh, well, artist. Who always was long dudes that had a, a good jab. Mm -hmm. Later in his career when he wasn't moving his head anymore. So I don't know if, if Jake can keep Mike off with his jab. Joe Rogan has notably expressed rewards about the potential for a tragic outcome involving Mike Tyson during his highly anticipated clash with Jake Paul. The vast age difference between the two pugilists stirred up considerable frenzy among boxing enthusiasts upon the fight's announcement when Tyson and Paul step into the ring together. Tyson will be a staggering 31 senior to Paul prior to the fight being formally sanctioned as a professional match. Rogan vocalized concerns regarding the grim possibility of such a scenario unfolding in a recent installment of the Joe Rogan Experience. Podcast Joe brought up an intriguing point about the uncertain fate of the fight's approval. At that time, potential protests loomed large, casting doubt on whether the bout would indeed be sanctioned. However, fast forward a few weeks, and we can confirm that the fight has now secured official approval. But circling back, Tyson emphasized the gravity of the situation, highlighting the looming specter of potential repercussions. He underlined the weighty concerns that would arise should he sustain serious injury or worse meet his demise in the ring. Crazy. If Tyson dies, right? Oh my God. Yeah. See, if you have something like that, if you have, look, if that'd this, be the end of the, <laughs> right. <laughs> the yeah, end of that experiment. Let's imagine it in, in a different way, right? Let's not imagine that Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul. Let's imagine Mike Tyson is fighting some young, like really powerful oh, knockout well, artist contender. Probably well, guess what? That. Jake Paul could be that guy if we didn't think of him as Jake Paul. If you look at the people he knocks dead, when he knocked dead Tyron Woodley with one punch, that dude I was there. crack. Yeah, I was, I mean, honestly, so like that's what, I'm saying exactly what you're saying. We don't want to give him credit because it's Jake Paul. Exactly. But we gotta, we gotta wake up and realize that he's still 27, young, and for the last four, five, six, seven years, he's, he's had the best coaches working with him one on one. Now, with probably 90% of the power, 70% of the physical ability, and 90% of the power, because the power is not gone. You see it when he hits a bag. Yeah, he still see, got the power.